They say that in space, no one can hear you scream. We'll see if that's still the case when you're being attacked by gruesome mutated humans in a prison on the moon of Jupiter. That's what'll be happening to you in the Callisto Protocol, a game created by the twisted minds behind Dead Space. Here's everything to know about the Callisto Protocol. The Callisto Protocol is a new original survival horror game set on, you guessed it, Callisto, a moon of Jupiter. More specifically, it's set in a prison called Black Iron, located on Callisto in 2320. It's there that cargo pilot protagonist Jacob Lee finds himself trapped as mutating humans begin taking over and murdering other inmates. There are mysteries on and in Callisto that Jacob must uncover, and as with all good dystopian futuristic stories, a mega corporation could be the problem. It's like someone's trying to cover up what's happening here. In this case, United Jupiter Company reigns supreme, and we're willing to bet those inmates didn't just start transforming into monsters for no reason. Like Dead Space before it, The Callisto Protocol is a third-person survival horror game with action elements. There will be a mix of up-close melee combat and ranged weaponry, letting you improvise and decide what the best tool in a specific situation is. Because of the relatively limited ammunition, just like in most survival horror games, you won't be blasting away mindlessly while trying to survive. However, powerful weapons will still be able to destroy limbs, potentially slowing down enemies as they approach. Just like Dead Space's Isaac Clarke, Jacob Lee is just an ordinary guy thrown into a terrifying situation. He doesn't have combat training and the only weapons available to him are what he can scrounge up from around the prison. There will be several different enemy types Jacob will go up against in the Callisto Protocol, including robotic prison guards, as well as a variety of mutated humans. With direct confrontation using weapons not always the best option, you may need to get creative so you aren't overwhelmed or surrounded. The biophages look radically different from standard humans, and even with shotguns, melee weapons, and the gravity-changing GRP device, it won't be easy to defeat them even a single enemy is a threat. In a lot of ways, the biophages are very similar to Dead Space's necromorphs. Both enemies are heavily mutated creatures that stretch and contort the human form into something, while monstrous, manages to still be terrifyingly recognizable. Jacob will meet some human characters around the prison who haven't turned into terrifying monsters, including members of a resistance group who are determined to get to the bottom of the shady dealings of the United Jupiter Company. But in an attempt to not cut through the tension too frequently, the Callisto Protocol tells a lot of its lore and additional side stories through audio logs, so the developer recommends you check them out. The game will utilize current gen hardware in interesting ways. Not only will there be a 60 frames per second performance mode when the game launches, but haptic feedback on PlayStation 5 controllers will be used to amplify the feeling of enemy bones shattering when you land a powerful blow. To keep tension at an all-time high, the game won't feature a map, so you can't even get a reprieve by opening it. When planning the game's scares, the team operated on the ethos that there are no rules. Each scare was crafted specifically to land, with the team balancing timing and tension to scare the crap out of players. If you're interested in learning about why horror is so impactful, why don't you take a look at one of these two features we have up on the channel right now. A link in below. The game's director Glenn Schofield revealed, sometimes we make players wait 10 or 15 minutes for a big scare. Sometimes we hit them with two or three in a row. Sometimes we build up a ton of tension and get players ready for a jump scare, then don't deliver it. It's kind of like a game of cat and mouse. As soon as you become predictable, it's over. The Callisto Protocol won't have multiplayer, but there will be a season pass for future DLC. The season pass includes a number of new cosmetics, including the Outer Way, Watchtower, and Engineer skin collections. It also includes a new mode called Contagion, where you'll get fewer health drops and reduced ammo. 
There's also a wave-based mode called Riot, where you can use credits to upgrade your weapons and just try to survive as long as you can. There'll also be future story DLC. Both Riot and Contagion include new death animations for Jacob, which was met with some skepticism when announced, with some fans believing Striking Distance had paywalled features from the main game. To clear things up, game director Glenn Schofield tweeted, to be clear, we're not holding anything back from the main game for the season pass. We haven't even started work on this content yet. It's all new stuff that we'll be working on in the new year. Fans have asked for even more deaths, so we're making it a priority next year. After Dead Space 3 was released and its developer Visceral Games eventually shuttered, it appeared the age of AAA science fiction survival horror games was coming to an end. But that wasn't the case. Glenn Schofield, who co-created the original Dead Space before founding Call of Duty studio Sledgehammer Games, returned to survival horror with the Callisto Protocol. Developed at his new company, Striking Distance Studios, the Callisto Protocol wears its Dead Space influence proudly, with Schofield even saying, I'm not going to shy away from a good idea because it was in one of my games. All game makers look at ideas from other games. Picasso said, good artists borrow, great artists steal. Well, why not steal from myself? But the Callisto Protocol is aiming for a scarier and more atmospheric take on the genre than what Dead Space eventually became by its third installment. <laughs> Glenn Schofield isn't the only big name attached to the Callisto Protocol. Jacob Lee is played by actor Josh Duhamel, best known for the Transformers movies and Call of Duty World War II. Karen Fukuhara from The Boys and Suicide Squad also has a starring role as Danny Nakamura, leader of The Outer Way, a resistance group who are trying to square up against the United Jupiter Company. At one point in development, the Callisto Protocol was planned to exist within the PUBG universe, as the game is published by Krafton. However, this is no longer the case, with any connection being limited to some easter eggs scattered throughout the game. PUBG is, at least from the weaponry and setting, set close to the modern era, while the Callisto Protocol takes place hundreds of years in the future and far away from Earth. Callisto Protocol releases on December 2nd, 2022, and will be available for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. There are three different editions, the Day 1 edition, Digital Deluxe Edition, and the Collector's Edition. The Day 1 edition includes the base game, a Retro Prisoner character skin, and two Retro Prisoner weapon skins. If you buy any edition on PlayStation, you get a couple of other benefits, such as 48-hour early access for upcoming DLC, and a contraband pack filled with items that will help you out during the game. It retails for $59.99 on PC and last gen, and $69.99 on current gen. The Digital Deluxe Edition features all of the previously mentioned items as well as the game Season Pass. It's $79.99 on last gen and PC, and $89.99 on current gen. The Callisto Protocol's Collector's Edition features everything previously mentioned, but also comes with a fancy steelbook case, a comic, two collectible pins, and a statue of Jacob. It's $249.99 for current gen, and $239.99 for the previous. If you're in Japan and looking to play, you're unfortunately out of luck, as the game will not be released in the country. Striking Distance Studios said via its Japanese Twitter account that the localized version for Japan will be discontinued and that anyone who pre-ordered will get a refund. In a tweet translated by VGC, the studio said, We have determined that the game cannot pass the zero rating in its current state and that changing the content will not provide the experience that players expect. We would appreciate your understanding in Japan. There's not long to wait until the Callisto Protocol launches, and if you want to check out some more gameplay as well as hands-on impressions, make sure to subscribe to GameSpot on YouTube and check out GameSpot.com. You can find me on Twitter at LucyJamesGames, and I'll see you next time.